Uh, so let's uh, discuss today uh, something known as uh, hazards in digital circuits okay so uh, what is an uh, hazard let's, uh, like uh, an hazard is a momentary uh, uh, unwanted switching transient at the logic functions output it is also known as uh, glitch okay uh, and uh, why does this happen uh, that is because uh, there is unequal propagation delays along different paths in a combinational circuit okay uh, so uh, suppose an output is supposed to remain uh, zero uh, for a certain input combinations now the uh, input combination has changed and the output needs to remain zero for that particular new combination also uh, but these various signals are following different paths and hence because of unequal uh, unequal propagation delays there could be a, a possibility that output momentarily goes to one and come back to zero okay so that is known as a hazard error and uh, glitch we'll see that in details in the next uh, few slides so uh, we should take uh, steps to try and uh, eliminate these hazards so there are two types of hazards one is known as an static hazard and one is known as an uh, dynamic hazard okay uh, so uh, static hazard can again be uh, classified as static zero hazard or an uh, static one hazard okay a static uh, zero hazard means uh, the output has supposed to be a zero like just now like i discussed uh, output has to be a zero for a certain uh, input combination one of the inputs has changed but even for that particular combination also the output is supposed to be zero but then you will find at the output it has gone to one and it has come back to zero so this one uh, shouldn't have been there ideally but it is uh, coming because of certain uh, un unequal propagation delays in the circuit so this is known as a uh, static zero hazard similarly you could have an uh, static one hazard also uh, static one hazard means the output has to uh, remain one for a particular input combination uh, and uh, uh, and if, if one of the inputs is changing for some particular case uh, still for that also it has to remain one only but then because of some uh, unequal propagation delay the output output flips to zero or for a few in a fraction of a seconds and then comes to one so this is known as a static one hazard okay uh, similarly you have something known as a dynamic hazard uh, here also if you see uh, the output actually uh, for a, uh, when an input is changing from 0 to 1 or 1 to 0 uh, the output has to change like uh, in this particular case uh, the actual desired output is from 0 to 1 it should uh, go from 0 to 1 okay for when the input is changing but actually what we are observing here is it is going to 0 to 1 coming back to 0 again settling it to 1 okay so there is one uh, additional transition which is happening here this is known as the, uh, dynamic hazard uh, similarly here also so initially uh, the uh, input is one now the uh, output is one for certain input combinations uh, whenever the uh, input is changing i have to get a zero here but instead of getting a zero here it is going to zero here going to one here again coming back to zero so this is known as a uh, dynamic hazard one to zero this is known as dynamic uh, hazard uh, zero to one if i go to previous case uh, this is known as static hazard here output is zero final output is zero but in between i have one here uh, here the first input is an uh, output is one final output is also one in between i am getting unnecessarily one uh, transition here so we will see uh, the cause of it uh, suppose this is a uh, function out here uh, a b right so uh, this is a b and this is an uh, uh, b dash c because you have an uh, inverter out here b dash c this is one more uh, and gate and you have an or uh, suppose initially uh, a is one uh, b is one and c is one okay uh, all the three are one so one one this and uh, output will be one so this is uh, or gate so it will be on and suppose this one is uh, toggling the a and b are continuously remain a and c are continuously remaining one whereas b is changing from one to zero so what would be the final output if b is going to be uh, zero out here okay this nand gate will become zero uh, but whereas since this there is an inverter here this b has changed from 1 to 0 so you will have 1 here so 1 1 this bottom and gate is going to give me a uh, 1 here right and that one uh, output should be 1 here right so uh, so in both the combinations that is uh, 1 uh, 1 1 1 and 1 0 1 
for both the combinations the output should be 1 okay but what actually happens is now if you see these are the waveforms which are uh, shown here so if you see this vertical lines okay this is on the x axis you have a time uh, these vertical lines indicate the time taken by an uh, gate uh, uh, for uh, changing the uh, output okay uh, for example let, let's take at time t is equal to 0 uh, this b is going uh, low out here okay so uh, this b is going uh, low out here right so but you have an uh, inverter out here so the inverter output will uh, change to one after certain delay okay so that this particular two vertical lines okay so you will see this edges triggering this inverter going to be out it is not happy happening at, at the same instant when v is, b is going from high to low this inverter output is going high after a certain uh, time delay so this is a, a time delay so these two vertical uh, no, lines indicate that the distance between these two uh, vertical lines indicate the uh, propagation delay of the uh, gate okay so this b is going high here uh, now this b is going low right at this instance also and hence this gate and gate also will go low right so and gate is also going low after a propagation delay okay so so you will find uh, and is also uh, going low right now what about this and two now uh, and 2 has to go high because of this inverter you are receiving a 1 here right so when are we receiving that 1 here uh, we are receiving that 1 here after an a delay here because there is an inverter here so there is an a delay here now again this and gate also will have an delay so once the inverter goes high again after one more uh, gate delay uh, the and 2 will uh, go high so if you see the function f here okay this and will go low early itself okay this and is going low uh, and 1 the top and 1 is going low early and the second and gate is going high after a certain time uh, because this and is receiving an input whereas this and this b is going zero early right so this will go low early whereas this inverter because of one inverter which is available here this is getting a one after a one more gate delay so this is going high after one more gate delay and hence uh, this or gate if you see uh, in, in between i have both the gates as low here right uh, and one also zero and two is to say so the output will go to zero and then subsequently when this and goes to one the output goes to one here so you will find one uh, glitch coming here in the uh, output so why is this happened because of unequal uh, unequal propagation delay b is reaching this and gate without any propagation delay whereas the same b is reaching uh, this and gate because of uh, one more propagation delay which has been introduced by an uh, not gate out here so uh, because of unequal uh, unequal propagation delays you will find there is an uh, glitch in the uh, output uh, is it uh, clear to all of you yeah yeah uh, kishan mariam anybody can i just is it understood and what is the cause of the glitch anybody yeah okay uh, so if you see uh, now if i try to uh, make an uh, k map out here right so uh, i have a function of uh, it is uh, if you see uh, what is this function uh, a b uh, and uh, b dash c right and, uh, so uh, a b and b dash c so i make this k map so if you see this is how we implemented this a b plus b dash c is the circuit which we have uh, implemented here okay so now uh, if you see here uh, there is an uh, how can you identify whether there will be a, a glitch or not is like till now we learnt in the k maps okay uh, this is this and this if you group it like this then it will give the uh, minimum uh, expression which is there okay so this is the best possible that is what we learnt okay this is the best possible uh, only if we are not bothered about a glitch okay for low frequency applications and all uh, so this kind of arrangement is good but when we are talking about an uh, high frequency applications then the glitches could be an, a problem okay in that case we cannot uh, leave these two ones which are uh, close by so if we leave these two ones like this close by that will uh, result in an uh, glitch so you have to make uh, one more box like this 
okay then the glitch will be uh, 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 eliminated so by seeing the k map okay not only you make groups if there are two adjacent ones which are not uh, clubbed together then it might uh, result in an uh, glitch so you you make a box like this also so that will result in an extra gate out here okay uh, ac what is ac it is an uh, extra gate now here right so if i see in the hardware so this is an extra gate out here right it is the same function okay uh, so uh, this we uh, actually called it redundant when we learned about k maps we called it redundant okay uh, so uh, as long as it is for low frequency applications and and glitch can be tolerated uh, for a particular application it is redundant okay but if you are looking for an uh, glitch free operation okay uh, you want it uh, the waveform to be perfect for any uh, critical application uh, in that case you will have to make this additional grouping okay this additional grouping is going to result in one additional uh, gate okay but the function remains same here okay the the, the final function uh, doesn't change okay it, it, it is going to. now if you see here in this case uh, when uh, b is changing okay from 0 to 1 uh, what is this AND gate? See, it is A and C. So, this will give you a 1 here. So, while this B is making from 1 to 0, this AND gate will be uh, going off, off first. It is going to go to 0. This is going to come after a certain time. But you have an alternate path A and C here, which will give 1 here. So, you don't have that glitch. So, this additional gate which I put here, that will eliminate the uh, glitch but if you see uh, it, it the, the total final output uh, for all static conditions it will it will be zero for these conditions and one for uh, these min terms okay all those things will remain uh, same here only this uh, incorporation of this additional uh, gate okay will eliminate the uh, glitch okay so this is known as uh, this is eliminating uh, static uh, uh, hazard one okay so there could be an if you are implementing uh, a function with or gate with uh, nor gates then there could be uh, there could be uh, you have to look for a static zero uh, also so when you are make clubbing all the zeros you will have to see that uh, no two zeros uh, adjacent zeros are left out that, that this is and or uh, and or implementation if you are implementing with or and like like product of sums in that case uh, you you will be uh, making uh, groups of uh, zeros right in that case you have to ensure that no two zeros are uh, left out okay so uh, with that uh, we come to an end of today's class uh, i will uh, recommend uh, you, you have you go through uh, my web page and there are certain uh, tutorials given there uh, so i'm not sure if glitch is available in your uh, uh, in the prescribed uh, textbook but if you can uh, go through those uh, tutorial uh, lectures and pdf uh, you will find a few more examples of uh, static uh, uh, glitch elimination examples are given there okay so uh, thanks a lot so that's all uh, for today if you have any doubts you can ask me now